benefit of empathy is empathy can help you clearly identify emotion work in yourself and others. Emotion work is a fascinating um, idea, which was first uh, which was first created by a sociologist named Arlie Hochschild, and I hope I'm saying her last name right. Um, and I have a post about this on my site if you want to find the book that she wrote. Um, and what she was looking at is, and this is like a seminal piece of work that everybody refers to, what she was looking at is the way that we utilize our emotions and our behaviors in our jobs and how that is usually not written down, but it is a crucial part of how we work. So she talked about um, uh, flight attendants who have an incredible emotion work burden placed upon them which is to always be friendly and open and available and nice even when passengers are behaving like louts you know and asking for more drinks and being annoying and can you get me a blanket this guy's bothering me will you please you know that sort of thing so the expectation we have for flight attendants is that they will continually present a face of empathy and openness and willingness and and friendliness even if someone is being unkind to them. So we will expect when they have that, that suit on, that if someone pinches their bottom or acts in a really inappropriate way, they will turn toward them and say, sir. You know, whereas if they weren't wearing the suit, they might haul off and punch the guy. And everyone would go, well, yes, because <laughs> that was completely inappropriate what he did. So. Uh, Arlie Hotchfield looked at um, flight attendants to sort of talk about emotion work. And what I've noticed since then is that when we go into a store of any kind, we have expectations for the emotion work of the workers that nobody says to anybody, but we notice when it isn't there. And one of the things that people who are in public service jobs have to do is give us free empathy. Right? So we go in wanting dog food or or a hammer or whatever it is that we want or some food and the person has to seem as if they care about our dog food right and you're like oh what kind of dog have you got well is he dealing with this does he have dysplasia you know so that they become very interested in our dog and all that kind of thing now this is something that we ask people in service positions to do but it's not written down in the job description right Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, an, it's an underlying, underground assumption. But when there's a problem in the workplace or in relationships, it's usually an emotion work problem, right? So when someone isn't doing their work, generally there will be emotion work that happens around that employee who's failing. So people will sort of cover for them or explain for them or they'll gossip about them and, you know, that sort of thing. But but emotion work is sort of how how relationships and how the workplace works. But uh, emotion yeah. work isn't identified. So in being very empathic, I mean, I cannot treat even a really horrible employee badly because I know that they probably have just had it. You know, they probably had one too many people. It's like I, I can't send food back. Like, unless it's actually the wrong order, you know, like if someone gives me a, a hamburger and I ordered a salad, I would say, oh, this is for someone else. But if the salad, you know, has cheese on it, but I didn't want cheese, I'll tend to just move the cheese aside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i just go, okay, whatever. Um, because I have a sense of, for, you know, from having worked, that then the waitress is going to take it back and the, and the service people are going to get angry at her and the food will be wasted and that's, you know what I mean? It's like uh -huh. I see the whole process of it rather than just thinking, well I'm here paying my 20 bucks and I asked for no cheese. D do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there, well there's a couple things there. There's one that a uh, work environment, you think of, oh it's a matter of this efficiency of work, but yeah. there's really a lot of emotions going on in there and the emotions and the dynamics of it aren't kind of explicitly talked about yes. maybe so and you're calling that emotion work yes. it's just how people relate to each other mm -hmm. employees between each other with the customers and those expectations and I'm also hearing that you have a real sensitivity to that 
<laughs> and that when you go into the work environment of other people, you know, you don't want to kind of add to their burden and their stress, so you, you know, don't kind of do a lot of complaining and, and whatnot. <laughs> no, I mean, there's sometimes, it. what I find is when something's gone really, really wrong, and a business person or, or you know, somebody's just completely off kilter, I will tend to do a yes and with it rather than you have let me down and you need, you know, a lot of pointing fingers and you, but rather say, you know, I ordered this thing and it, it actually arrived broken. So what can we do now? Rather than you guys suck and, <laughs> and this is the worst business I've ever been in. But rather to say, so how do we work this out together? And then, you know, if the person says, well, you know, we can't do anything for you and you probably broke it yourself, then I might go up the chain. But I usually don't have to because I just say, you know, here's a problem that we're having together. How can you help me? And I find that's also an understanding of emotion work because so many people will go to, to clerks and just treat them like things, you know? Um, you can see it at places especially like, oh, fast food, McDonald's or something, where people will not even really make eye contact. They'll look at the menu. Give me uh, two you know, hamburgers and some fries, and they won't even look at the human being that is standing there. And people get used to it, but it's not something I want people to get used to in my presence. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dehumanization there. Kind of person becomes just a function or a yeah. And so you're saying then that empathy helps you clearly identify emotion work in the sense of in the work environment <clears throat> and so forth that you're able to empathize and kind of see, feel what's going on in, in the environment, and it gives you a and I guess if you're an employee, it would give you uh, uh, ways of doing that work more eff effectively, perhaps. How do you mm -hmm. maintain relationships and do conflict resolution? Yeah. And it also helps you within your own work environment to help employees when you see them heading toward burnout. You know, to just even to just joke with them. You know, whoa, that, that customer was a handful, wasn't she? You know, just so that so the people within your work environment know that you saw it, know that you're aware of it, and they're not alone in feeling like this job is terrible or whatever, mm -hmm. or this situation is really, um, you know, just it's not to tell people who are who are being used in that way to suck it up. It's to say I saw that happen, and I and and so uh, to share I, what your perceptions are and then have a way of dialoguing about it and kind of acknowledging the feelings in, in others, kind yeah. of like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you need the empathy for doing that. Um, 